hey y'all ariel here welcome back to my channel if you guys want to see how i achieve this makeup look continue to keep on watching all right so we're starting off with the clean canvas i'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow from the warrior 2 palette from juvia's place just to match my hair because obviously the hair is bold today okay now i'm gonna go in and just feather the eyeshadow out just like that pro tip whenever you're having like a colored type of hairstyle if you have a red or like a bright type of color always use an eyeshadow that way you can give the illusion as if like you dyed your brow hairs as well it's just going to help everything glide and coincide together once i have my eyeshadow placed i'm going to take the nyx pen this is the lift and snatch brow pen i absolutely love it just to give it a more hair like appearance you know and yeah we're just gonna sketch everything out making sure to not erase all the eyeshadow that we just placed down okay so now that i have the brows done i'm gonna go in and blend a little bit more just to blend that nyx and the eyeshadow together and then i'm gonna take this thread beauty concealer and Go ahead and clean up my brows. I don't want to go too, too bold of a concealer color because I already have a bold hair color. And if I was to go too bold with the concealer, everything's just going to clash and not going to sit in harmony. And by the way, I used that same concealer at the top and bottom. And now I'm going to take my brush and just tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping to blend this concealer out. Once I have the concealer placed, I'm going to go ahead and lock it in place with the press powder from Maybelline. This is the shade 332. And we're just going to tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. Just like that. And as you can see, we sculpted the brows. Now I'm going to take my Belief Aqua Bomb True Cream, one of my favorites. And we're going to go ahead and moisturize and rejuvenate the skin. And to prime my face, I'm going to take my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. For foundation, I'm going to take my Urban Decay as well as my Makeup by Mario. I honestly could have went without the Urban Decay because that shade is a little too yellow. But I feel like I made it work. I like to go in with my fingers and just place the foundation and then go in with a sponge or a brush to actually blend everything out. It just helps place the, the product wherever you want it to actually lay. And boom, we're just going to tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. This sponge is on the damp side and this is actually from Airy Winkle. Check out my website if you haven't shopped. Shop with your girl because 
period <laughs> now i'm going to take my lancome concealer and we're going to go ahead and start the highlighting process on my under eyes my chin and my nose i just love a lifted look but again we're keeping it simple so as you can see i'm not going in with the super duper bright concealer shade if you want a more natural tone when it comes down to your beat keep more natural colors that coincide with your skin complexion now as for me and my house okay i'm gonna go in a little bit brighter and i'm gonna take this light peach shade from jacqueline hill i love that concealer and we're just gonna go in and tap that as well so as you can see it just lifts and brightens the face up really really good and i'm working kind of fast because that concealer dries super quick Okay, so once I have everything blended, now we're gonna lock the cream in place with the powder. I'm using the shade 330. And we're just gonna tap, 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 pet, 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 swiper, no swiping. All right, so now that I have the pressed powder laid, I'm gonna take my loose powder. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills, my Huda Beauty, as well as my Laura Mercier, and we're gonna go in and just lock the face a little bit more and just give me a more full coverage type of beat. You don't have to use as many products as I do, but I find that this helps my makeup last throughout the day from morning till night or whenever I'm ready to take it off. My makeup never budge. Like it always looks flawless throughout the day. And yeah, powder is always going to be that top key component. Then I took the One Size Beauty in the shade Deep Dark to lock my foundation areas in place. And I also took the Juvia's Place. I think that's volume five. And by the way, if you notice, the only thing that's on my forehead is that concealer that I use to actually blend my brow or scope my brow. I try not to put foundation on my forehead as much now. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock everything in place with some water. And now I'm going to take those two brown shades from out the Juvia's Place palette. And I took my Sephora eyeliner. And we're going to pop some lashes on. Lashes are always going to be like that staple. It's always going to make the look. For mascara, I'm going to take the It's Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I love, love, love her. She's just so bomb. Period. And then I'm also going to take my Caviar Liner from Believe Beauty to put on my lower lash line.
The lashes we're using is Style Rival from Airy Winkle, www.airywinkle.com. Shop my website if you haven't. What are you waiting on? Okay. And if you have, thank you so much for supporting your girl. Like, it makes me feel so special when I see my little notification from Shopify. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Boom. So we got the lashes on looking like a Barbie doll because period. Now I'm going to take the gel eyeliner from Absolute New York, but I use it as a lip liner. And I'm also going to take my Airy Winkle lipstick in the style Mocha. I went back over it with my Morphe lip liner in the style Trendsetter. I love that lip liner as well, y'all. Like it's so pretty on melanin. So pretty. And then, of course, I'm going to add some gloss on top. This is the shade Ebony, if I'm not mistaken, from Airy Winkle as well. And I also used Snatched from Airy Winkle in the center. And I topped it off with some clear gloss from Nika K. I added a little bit more of that brown shadow just to kind of give me a more intense Barbie doll type of look. Like a brat style, really. And then I sprayed my Morphe Continuous Spray. And this was the completed look you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next makeup tutorial bye y'all